So it's day seven of Mahimba and we've got a very special task that's been assigned to us. It's a local village's centenary celebrations this weekend and Mahimba have given them two buffalo cows for meat for the celebrations. Now they wanted two incredibly experienced, accurate marksmen, world-class hunters to take out these buffalo. They weren't available, so myself and Gavin, we've stepped up to the task. So are you ready? I'm sure he's already. <laughs> so Gavin's going to shoot straight-ish and I'm going to be there to back him up and hopefully he's going to repay the favour. So if he wounds one, I'm definitely going to return the favour for you. How's that sound? Just remember one thing, those are big words. Yeah. Things change very quick. I'm backing yeah, him up I have, on Issa. <laughs> and I have been known to screw things up from time to time before. But joking aside, this is two buffalo in one day, so it's a pretty tall order, huh? Yeah, it's a tall order if we can just get the tracks early enough and, and get on them and, and uh, uh, track them. The quicker that we get them and before the sun is out, the, the faster they're going to go down. Well, that's, that sounds like easier. Yeah. yeah. But when we get there, we've got a Ruger M77 in 458 and we've got a Ruger number 1 in 450. So once we get them in front of us, they should go down. Yep. Famous last word, no? Famous last word. Good luck. Thank you too. So after three hours of trekking and following spool, we finally got our first sight of buffalo. Now the wind has changed on it as it was in our face and it's now coming from the side. So as we got close to them, about 50, 60 yards, they were lying right here where we stood now. They jumped up and then headed straight into the wind. Now, the problem we've got is it's still changing. Sooner or later it's going to pick its direction and it's going to keep going. But for now, we're going to have to head out, get around the back of the wind and see if we can tail the herd. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're halfway through the day. Gavin's managed to get a beautiful old cow, exactly what we're looking for. A dry female, clearly past breeding age, and uh, that's half the job done. But it's been a, been a battle this morning, eh? It has been a battle. Uh, the wind constantly changed. Yeah, you know, when we were on the spoor, they, because it was such a big herd, they were, you know, some of them went out to the sides, they came in, so we battled with the spoor. Then the wind changed on us, and uh, obviously then they smelled us, and they went off, and then from there we just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. So, a tricky, challenging stalk, but the first cow is in the bag. But, there's still one yet to go, so stay tuned. It's the afternoon of day seven. We've got our cow in the bag this morning, and now we need our second. And we've managed to get right up on the herd again. They're literally 80 yards in front of us. So here, here starts the final stalk. A buffalo number two. So, what a fantastic finish to the end of day seven. We set out for two cows and we bagged two cows. This one's mine. Uh, we took Gavin's this morning, as you saw. Lovely old cow. This one we think is a little bit older, um, it's a little bit skinnier. Uh, the udder's all dried up. Perfect, exactly the type of cow we're looking to take and Gavin two awesome stalks. I really enjoyed uh, you know it, uh, just always we're doing it on a professional base but to come out as friends and and do two buffs like this yeah. uh, I really enjoyed it I must say. Yeah. Well I, I felt much better knowing that you were there to back me up. No, the same, you but know, but e equally I'm glad I shot straight. <laughs> no, I mean each shot uh, throughout the safari I mean we've got another couple of days ahead and each shot counted the first shot counted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, well, well done. So what a good, what a great way to finish up day seven, but we've still got some work to do, so come on.